Okay, so this is our observation beehive. Since I put my sheet of foundation in there, I, I've been checking it every every day or every second day, and it's been a little while since I checked it. I must have disturbed the bees pr producing their wax, and I noticed this bee on the perspex here, face with its abdomen facing us, which looks like it that must be wax coming out of its wax glands. That's all I can, oh, that's the best thing I can work incredible. it out is that it, everything I've, I've seen about producing wax is that the top bee produces the wax. You can see uh, is walking towards, or she's walking towards another group of bees. They're hanging off each other. The top bees produce wax because the bottom bees hang off them. All I can figure out is that that stuff on that bee is wax. Now you can see a group of bees hanging off each other here and they're hanging off the wax that they're producing. Actually I've got all this information from a, a video that my daughter gave me for Christmas a few years ago entitled The City of Bees and they talk about uh, wax production in that, how they produce wax. This was put out by the Moody Institute of Science in America and they talk about the language of the bees and this and classic examples of bees doing the language of the bees there. So I'm just amazed at how much these bees have done since I put that sheet of foundation in there. You know, I took that frame of sealed brood off, out of it. The bees beautifully built on that sheet of foundation. Yeah, that bees obviously found a good honey source and it's keen to show the other bees where it found the honey. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, now it's going to another group. I grabbed the camera because I wanted to show you that the bee producing the wax. So it turned into a video of bees doing the bee dance. Now this bee has found a different source of honey to the previous one I was showing. Now I'm going to do another uh, update on this observation hive. I'm going to have to weaken it out again. With my next video what I'm going to do is remove all the comb off the perspex. On the other side there's a lot more brood so I'm going to remove that because it makes it pretty hard to look for the queen if you, you know, the idea of an observation hive is to be able to show people a working hive with the queen bee. Plus I don't want this hive to swarm on me as small as it is. And I'll just show you this top part they're working on here. This, the comb on the perspex. Now on this section of honey here, uh, looking at the side, there's a bit of sealed honey. When I do my observation hive update, we might even get a little feed of honey out of it, which I wasn't even counting on. What I've done is I've come inside since videoing the bees, and what I thought was flakes of wax on that bee, I've googled bees wax. Here's a, a photo of flakes of wax on the internet, and it looks, and they say it. Uh, like glass, it's sort of you can see through it, so it's very it doesn't turn white until the bees mix it with their saliva. So I'm not really sure about that. What I thought was wax on that bee, it's a bit of a mystery. It's clearly white what's on the bee, and these images are clear. Next time I look at the bees in that position where they're building wax I'll be looking for clear flakes of wax and not white flakes of wax. Okay thanks for watching. Uh, bye.